some reason, I, I, think the, I think the catchphrase, Parmet Panties, are going to be a new catchphrase at Anthrocon. And Uncle Coggy is not going to understand why. Available in the gift store. Helen the Hyena said to her son, It's not true that I wanted a daughter instead of a son. Now shut up and put on your blank dress. Now if I see a row of varmint panties on this line, that was your second choice, okay. We're going to start with the guy who was having so much trouble. Dart. Shadow Wolf. Shadow Wolf. You cannot write varmint panties on there now. He said hat. Put on your hat. Wait, this could be like apples to apples. Let's go through the other ones that we have. No, we're not going to go through the other ones. Fizz, what do you have? Put a hat. He very also original. put hat. Okay. Nietzsche. Um, I put hat. <laughs> Actually, I put tiara. Tiara. His, her, his tiara. Nice. Well, tiara. I feel bad. I didn't start that high. I went with Brazier. <laughs> his Brazier. Hey, guys need him too. Okay. <laughs> you mean, you, it, it may be a varmint Brazier. We'll find that out. I want the hyena head. I said spotty undies. Spotty undies. Okay. It's a hyena. Jim? I said, Varmint Dress. Varmint Dress. We did get a match. All right, Oren, you've got two points. It's a copyrighted name, Varmint Dress. Yippee, our first suitor should actually have a lot of experience with this. You don't want to get things caught indoors. Wallace the Wolf is no longer allowed to wear his first suit to work because every time he parks his car, he gets his blank caught in the door. The secret word is varmint panties. I want to his tail. His tail! We're going to see if anybody matched. That's a pretty good answer. Jim? We said, uh, tail! His tail! Alright, you tied. One more to win, two, two more to go into the lead. Yippee. Obvious tail. His tail. Yeah. Right, you're now, you're now, you're, you're, you're good. Now if you get Do one you more match. Have change? <laughs> I said barbed panties. And <laughs> I drew another cow. <laughs> you're not actually very good at this All game, right. are you? <laughs> Each? Well, you know, I was going to say tail, except it's been said like four or seven times, so I said his ear tag. His ear tag. Okay. Fizz. Dignity. His dignity. <laughs> That's something none of us on this stage know anything about. All right. Who are you calling undignified? Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Mr. Wolf. Uh, I put foot. He gets his foot caught in the door. All right, so actually, you, you won this round. You're cool. Peter the Porcupine is a fantastic violinist, but he doesn't use a bow. He strokes the violin with his blank. PG. Be creative. Farm and panties. Quills. With his quills. Right. We'll start with the Martins. Team Martin. Yeah, well, this is a good one. Quills! It's Quills! We got a match. Yippee. That wasn't feeling very creative. Said persona. His persona. All right, JR. Okay, I said collectible anthracon ear tag. His collectible anthracon ear tag. I also said barman panties. You got it. Your, the, the debit on your account is down by three bucks. Yeah. Alright, Nietzsche? Well, you know, um, Quills. Quills! We have two matches. Quills. Three matches! Quills and Needles. Because he didn't know which one they were called. We have four matches this time around. That was pretty good. Feverishly. have an answer, they are writing feverishly. Okay. Damn, booze. Punk Tiger. 
Calvin the Crazy Kangaroo was thrown out of the department store when they caught him doing what? Whatting the mannequins. Tail! No, I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> I should make him take that answer. But... Pocketing. Pocketing the mannequins. Okay. We'll start with Shadow Wolf this time down at the end. What did you say? I said waxing. Waxing the mannequins. <laughs> Moo. Polishing. Polishing the mannequins. Beach. Well, if you can believe it, I said he was pocketing the mannequins. Pocketing the mannequins. Wow. We got a match. JR, I feel real bad. You, but you gotta know where they're like where I come from. He was shaving the mannequins. Shaving the mannequins. <laughs> Yippee. I said fondling. Fondling the mannequins. <laughs> I must be desperate because he's crazy, right? He's crazy, Jim. He's a kangaroo. He was jumping the mannequins. Jumping the mannequins. <laughs> Yay! For our guest of honor. Okay. Ronald McDonald was arrested for beating up the Hamburglar. When asked why, he said, I had to. He tried to grab my blank. All right. Ronald McDonald was arrested for beating up the Hamburglar. When asked why, he said, I had to. He tried to grab my... McNuggets. My McNuggets. <laughs> That's a good one. I never thought of that. That's a good one. For some reason, I'm really glad she didn't say quarter pounder. <laughs> Let's not go down the entire McDonald's menu today. <laughs> Woof. What did you say? Ronald McDonald was arrested for beating up the hamburger. When asked why, he said, I had to. He tried to grab my... Well, this is PG, so I have to say cheese. His cheese. <laughs> cheese. Okay. <laughs> Fizz. Milkshake. Milkshake. Meech. I said his Big Mac. His Big Mac. <laughs> JR. I said a sack. <laughs> Yippee. I said McNuggets. McNuggets. <laughs> and Jim. Great minds think alike. McNuggets. McNuggets. Lorana now has six points and is going to be very difficult to beat in this game. Trans fats. But Punk Tiger has the opportunity to make six matches at one time. Like that's going to happen. <laughs> All right, we're going to see if he can do it. Punk Tiger. Willie the Weasel has really strange grooming habits. He insists on washing his blank before every meal. He insists on washing his what before every meal? Food. His food before every meal. So in order to beat Lorana, you're going to have to match all six of these people. I have a feeling it would be better if we just let all of them show their answer all at the same time. He's a weasel. He's a weasel. What's another word for a weasel? So everybody, what do you think the answers should be? Well, and every single one of these people put varmint panties as their answer. <laughs> Somehow it was magically possible for you to win. Freddie the Ferret and Francis the Fox, the strangest couple on the dance floor. Every other couple was dancing cheek to cheek, but they were dancing... Tail to tail? Tail to tail! Who? I thought if they were strange, I thought, you know, the strangest thing they could be dancing while pressing together and... I thought that would have to be their feet. Feet to feet. Feet to feet. If you're dancing feet to feet, then you kind of have to be laying down, don't you? Oh. Wilma the Wallaby said, My husband will never forget he was once in the military. Every night before I come to bed, he makes me blank. Every night before I come to bed, he makes me... Drop and give him 20. Drop and give him 20. <laughs> I know we all want to change to match that answer. We'll start with the Martins. Well, you said he was in the military, right? Yep. So every night she makes him polish his helmet. <laughs> oh. Okay, sir. <laughs> I salute you. Just don't do it that way. That's a Boy Scout salute, and you ain't no Boy Scout. That's okay. I don't think that. No, I'm. Is that a 
I said stand at attention. Stand at attention. <laughs> JR. I said shave. <laughs> you don't know the military bases I've been to. Beach. Uh, well, I said he makes a salute. Salutes. <laughs> okay. Fire the cannon. Fire the cannon. <laughs> I say, uh, Two. he makes, he makes her dig his trench. <laughs> oh, God. Sadly, Lucas did not get any points for that. Nobody's getting a lot of ideas. 